and today we are proud parents. So I integrated the family well. But more importantly, you got deeply connected with Marathi culture. Yeah, acting, performing art, because all in the family was in that field. Because he is also amazing. Ah, <laughs> how important is it to value relationships? There is nothing that I thought I can't do. You started saying Nandini, Nandini, and that's still for every time. Ye journey meri nahi hai, hamari hai. Ye journey meri nahi hai, hamari hai. So, swagat everybody, welcome. Let me introduce to you my dear friend Nandini, Nandini. Nandini Bhivaji happens to be the wife of Limbaji Bhivaji, my classmate from National School of Drama, 87 to 90. Tab se hum log mile hai. And uh, Nandini is somebody who is very piyari hai, bahut piyar diya hai. She's given a lot of love to all of us, and we really are grateful for the love that she gives to people that she meets. So I'm so happy that we are here chatting with her. So happy. Thank you, Ashish. Yeah. And uh, thank you to be part of our life, of our journey. Yes. And it has been quite an interesting journey because Nandini, you it's been a pretty challenging time for you, right? When uh, Bhiva left Mauritius to uh, go to India to study. Yeah, it was, uh, we've just got married for last one and a half, or nearly two years. Yeah, two years after that. And I have uh, my Archana, my elder daughter, who was only six months old. Okay. And at that time, I was not working. Fortunately, he got a scholarship with pay. Uh -huh. So his salary was here and okay. I can uh, do all this is with the help of my parents and his parents also, mm -hmm. who were very supportive, all of them. And uh, we stayed here for one and a half years. After that, we visited India for the first time uh -huh. before Arshu turned two, two years old. I spent my nearly more than five months together with you people. First time we met in Delhi National School of Drama. I stayed over there being in the compound of the school. Yes. We've had wonderful time together. And then back after five and a half months. And Biwa was there for his final year, and he come back again. But at that time, few months before he come back, I've started working, mm. uh, just as clerical work, because mm. after marriage, I haven't even thought of work. Mm. I've looking after the house, doing something like that. Mm. I've never thought I need to work. Because I have my passion, doing doing craft works and everything. Yes. Ah, cool. So for you, essentially, you know, I mean, kind of, I mean, what you see distinctively how even Nandini is dressed right now, uh, you know, wearing a bindi and wearing her jeans and her t-shirt or whatever. So tell me, what is this mix of culture that you grew up in, in Mauritius? Please tell us something about it. Previously, when I was unmarried, I was uh, just at my parents' place before married. I was always dressed like that. Okay. <laughs> because I was in Catra born and then I got married to Biwa. The family style uh, and grow, grown up was different from what I, I was. Okay. But I have adapted to their that way, their way of living because I found it that uh, the socialized with uh, other people I I love it. So I integrated the family well. Wow. So you actually saw the value in integrating yeah, yourself. Yeah. I learned so many things. Today I can see I've just been learning Marathi till my primary school only. But after my wedding, I was amazed to see I'm, I'm staying in a place where everybody knows the language and I can't speak it out uh, or understanding much more. By the help of my elder brother-in-law, he's our guru, I can yes, say. Yes. I learned so many things, so many things. Yeah, from starting from the language to the uh, religious side, anybody in my family, my side, 
They, they knew when I'm here, I know everything. They can... They can ask you about anything. Fantastic. And the language that you're speaking of is Marathi. Yeah, Marathi. I can't speak it out fru fluently, but I can understand. Even in, I'm in Mumbai, I can converse some few words with other people. Yes. But more importantly, you got deeply connected with Marathi culture. Yeah. And the celebrations. Celebrations. I know all the... I can help in everything, in the puja, in the... Ah, yes, yes, yes. That, that I've noticed. That I've definitely noticed. Before I was dancing also. Even last year for Ganesh Chaturthi, yeah. I took uh, Archana put up a dance with mothers and daughters participating in that. I was uh, learning Kathak dance. Uh, I performed in many shows. Mm -hmm. Played in Marathi plays also yeah, at national before, level. Did that, did that all start after you were After acting? wedding. After wedding. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So you kind of got interested even in acting. In yeah. acting. Arts. Yeah. Acting, performing art. Because all in the family was in that field. Mm -hmm. So I got interested in that. Got it. And what, what happened as you started performing, as you started integrating yourself into... I enjoyed. I enjoyed life like that. <laughs> yeah. I've enjoyed that. I can do it. There's nothing that I thought I can't do. Got I just it. keep on trying. <laughs> I, I want to do it, I'll do it. Wonderful. And I've seen that over the years. <laughs> I've seen that. Uh, over the years, Nandini is somebody whom I have looked up to as somebody who's kind, who is strong, who's resolute, who's loving. You've dealt with a lot of stuff, right, Nandini? Yeah. Then uh, uh, after we was come back from that side, um, from the school and then I continue working, changing uh, works, uh, going. And after Apu was born, my second daughter, so I stopped working. Again? Again. <laughs> yeah, I stopped working. Looking after the child was uh, more important than work for me. The family was first, come first. Okay, you didn't work for three years yeah. after Apu was born. Yeah. Got it. Then I joined again. Uh, some places with uh, consultants work. I was uh, joined as secretary there with a resident engineer for road projects. Mm -hmm. I go to that construction company where I'm still. Yes. Here. And how many years have you been here? 21 years. Wow. wow. Already. 21 years already. Fantastic. Yeah. So tell me one thing. You know, you, you have been somebody who's been managing just the home. And then you have been somebody who's been managing the children and the home. And working. And that's what's continuing. And an added aspect for me always has been, you've been somebody who's been rock solid with Viva. All right. How important is it for, as a spouse, for you to be that amazing partner? Because he's also amazing. Ah. <laughs> we supported each other in any any work. We struggled together to for the kids to go to study in India. And today I can say we are proud parents. Both are working. Both are settled. And uh, we are continuing. Even whenever they need our support, our advice, we are here. Absolutely. And we are helping anybody who can... Just need to help. And whatever we know, we just like to share. Yes. I've seen that a lot in both of you as well as your extended family. Uh, that you're existing not just for yourself and for your immediate family, but also for people around. How important is contribution to the sense of fulfillment that I see in your family? The contribution, the fulfillment is that uh, we like to see people... Uh, reaching their goals help them growing keep on growing and each each has unique goals yeah different in different ways mm -hmm. but if they can we can support them in their own meeting their own goals this is achievement for us yeah and you do experience that yeah. and I have experienced that Nandini and Bhiva have been amazing friends and amazing how should I say support over the years even though we are separated by large distances you know they forged an amazing relationship with my parents and uh, with Ma Baba you had a very very special yeah this I I just think I won't be so emotional speaking about Ma 
Maa and Baba, we met first time in Delhi. We met you first in Mumbai and when while talking to you, you just say, you are going to Delhi, don't stay anywhere. You have the home there. Maa and Baba is uh, all the, both there. You go and stay with them. So we get that love in with Maa and Baba and that continues uh, till their last. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And they were really very close and they used to, you know, visit, meet whenever in Delhi and... Uh, in Mumbai, I'll stay with Ma and Ma considered me so much that she even can share anything. Perhaps she can't share with anybody else. We sat together early morning, we get up both together having tea and chat and always speaking that uh, sometimes I... I do feel that there's something that perhaps she can't share with anybody. She shared it with me, considering me that like a daughter. Yes. Yeah. And I also feel so, she's, I had my mom at that time, my uh, in-laws also were there. But the relation with Ma was different and I always call her Ma. Yeah. yeah. I have experienced it, I have seen it. Nandini. As we are speaking about this, you know, we are, for me, something which really I get moved by are relationships. Yeah. Okay. And I see a bit of tears in her <laughs> eyes. And, yeah, uh, sorry for that. Sorry for that. You know why? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I do tear up yeah. whenever I... How important is it that even as each one of us is achieving our goals, yeah. how important is it to value relationships? For me, relationship is that... Uh, how we look to it. I really cherish these times because there's nothing that is compared. Huh? We, we can compare. So we accept each other as we are. You accepted us and we also. Friendship is very strong bond. Even we are far, we, we don't chat every day. But we know we we are here for each other. Yes. And I felt that. I've experienced that. You know, when I was talking to Aparna, Aparna mentioned how, um, what an amazing mother you've been. <laughs> when, you. uh, apart from all the times that, you know, you are, she was studying here, there, she was going, studying geology and uh, Varanasi and everything. How easy was it for you to even send your firstborn, Archana? to India, far away from you. Before leaving home to the airport, I remember that I just uh, tell Biva, Biva was going to drop her to India. Then I just said, oh, I don't want to be emotional, but something from me is going, part of me is going. Yeah. And that was painful, that was difficult. But you managed it. Yeah, I managed it beautifully. You managed it beautifully, yes. And and when you see your two beautiful children, kids, yeah. now grow into such amazing, amazing, <laughs> uh, uh, amazing, amazing uh, ladies. How does that feel? Oh, so good. And when I see them today in that form and I know how close you are and how difficult it would have been for you to send a child away. Yeah, so at one time in 2012, we both went to drop them. <laughs> that was much more painful, huh? yeah. leaving both there. Both, now first, <laughs> first went and then the second one went, now both are away. <laughs> leaving them in Varanasi back through Delhi, we just drop in a hotel and I can't even stay there inside. Biva said, you stop crying. Stop crying. You can't sleep. I can't. Looking at Biva, I just feel like crying. Well, well, let them there and we are here. And he said, no, let's go out. Let's go out. You can't stay in the room. Go. Let's go out and... Even that, we'll do some more shopping, see when we don't have space. Just, he makes me feel good. So he perhaps think that we'll buy something, we'll go out, and then this will change the atmosphere. But because it was so difficult. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. But we used to that. The children came for every summer vacation at home. And today, we are proud parents. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, so happy to hear this because, because you know, I see how those, those children have evolved into such amazing human beings. Yeah. And, you know, they are so grateful to you both for having given them the opportunity to. And how important do you think is for the child to uh, feel that, you know, the parents did yeah. give that child the opportunity to flower? Yeah, we have a very tight uh, togetherness so yeah, in the family. But we see the other, other side also. We can't uh, keep our children with us. We need them to grow, to be uh, citizens, uh, very good person, personality, what they wish to be in life. Wow. Huh? We can say that we have achieved something in life. Oh, yes, you have, my dear friend. Oh, yes, you have. One of the reasons that I do these interviews is that each one of our lives is different. Yeah. We, each one is leading a different kind of life. Yeah. Each one is trying to find some sort of fulfillment in their unique lives. In, yeah. yeah. And, and each one of us need to dream and to go and fulfill the dreams. And it, it doesn't uh, end here. Our life continues and we'll find other ways to achieve more, much more. We don't know in which ways, but we we'll look forward. What is it that, that you look forward to? What is it that inspires you? Life doesn't stop. Hmm? It doesn't stop. Whatever we've been, what will come, it's new experiences. We don't know. Walking there, what will happen? But we'll do it. We just walk for that. That's so beautifully put. <laughs> Looking into the future, walking into the future, not knowing what future will throw, but we'll keep walking. Yeah. That's Nandini Bhivaji for you, dear friend, my dear friend. That each time I meet her or talk to her, I just say, Nandini, Nandini. <laughs> yeah. And every time I just uh, hear that, that's make me feel... I'm at home in Mumbai, together with Ma and every Because the first time you, you see that was uh, in 2007, on 2nd January. <laughs> I was back, uh, Archana got that tailbone in 2006, December, I was at your place. And uh, I just go to Varanasi to drop her to back to her hostel. And I was back to Mumbai to catch my flight to Mauritius. At night, the driver come and pick me up. And you were all waiting for me for dinner at that time. And as soon as I stepped in the house, you started saying, Nandini, Nandini. And that's still for every time. It's still there. Every time Ashish will see me or call me, he'll just say that. And this is so heartful and I'm so thankful to my dear friend. Each one of us, dear friends, have got unique lives and we have unique dreams. We find different ways to fulfill them. As we walk through life, I meet some amazing people. And uh, my attempt through A Billion Dreams is for you to share with you all that many people that you do not possibly know of, they are doing valuable things just like you are doing. Nandini is one of the amazing people who has crossed my path. And I therefore brought this conversation to you. If you have liked what you have heard, please give this video a like, share it with others, subscribe to the channel and send a special comment for Nandini, Nandini. Thank you so much. And I'm so grateful I'm being part of that dream uh, mission. So, thank you all. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good.